Hey everyone, this is Justin at Level Up Lunch. If you are getting started with Spring Boot or working with a traditional Spring application, you're probably looking for ways to reduce your cycle time. Spring has created this submodule called Spring Loaded, which allows you to do hot deployments within your application. Unlike traditional hot code replacements, which allow simple changes on the JVM, Spring Loaded provides you with the ability to add, modify, or delete methods while this is running. By using a Spring Starter project, we created a Spring Boot application. We're using Spring STS for demonstration purposes, but you should be able to use an IDE of your choice. Next, we went ahead and created a sample controller uh, with a basic uh, method that returns a string to the default mapping. Let's fire up our application server to validate that everything is working correctly. Let's navigate to localhost 8080. And we should see that the string www.leveluplunch.com is returned. The next thing you'll want to do is download the spring loaded jar. And once you have that in a directory, we'll navigate to the run configurations. And in the arguments, we'll paste a string that will point to that jar. It'll be dash Java agent location of the jar, and don't forget the version of the jar also. And the last element is dash no verify. So we'll go ahead and apply, we'll close, and then we will restart our server with the, that property. Now it's configured with spring loaded, and it should give us the ability to do hot deployments. Once we have that configured, let's go ahead and add another request mapping so we can just see how the hot deployment stuff works. So we've created a snippet, and we will add the hot deployment object snippet. We'll do organize imports. We'll do organize imports here, and we should be go. So once we save this, in our console, we'll see that it reloaded or refreshed uh, the application, and then we'll see when we navigate to 8080 that that's still there. And let's go ahead and navigate to hot deploy. and that's there as well. So it automatically picked it up and so we don't have to uh, stop and restart the server each time. Next for demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and add a parameter to hot deployable and we've created our snippet and it will be a request parameter so it'll look for is hot deployable and then based on that parameter let's set the value in the object hot deploy. If hot deployable and we'll say hot deploy dot set is hot deployable and we will organize imports and save and you'll see at the bottom it did fire off to refresh and let's go ahead and in our hot deploy I'm sorry in our URL we will add is hot deployable equals to true and let's see what happens so you can see that it did set and uh, you didn't have to restart your server to do that. For the most part, Spring Loader works pretty well, but it does have some limitations, so be sure to check out the documentation. Thanks for joining in today's screencast on Level Up Lunch. Have a great day.